my dream was always to be married and have a family, to be a mommy. We waited till I think I was around 28, 29 years old to start trying, and we could not get pregnant. Looking back on it, I don't know how I survived it. I guess the the prize of having a child is just so big that you put yourself through things that are really hard, and in some cases hard. My husband was fantastic through all of the infertility time. He was so supportive and encouraging through the whole thing. We kept going to get testing done and I never could really, I never could get pregnant. One thing almost through all my infertility is I kept hearing from the Lord and from people that I trusted in their relationship with the Lord that I was going to be a mom. Continually pray and just try to focus in on what God was telling me rather than what my circumstances were. My body was just not responding. There was nowhere else to go. We decided that we would try for an adoption plan. Eleven days into the process, we got a call. It was four o'clock in the afternoon. And she said, there's a baby being born tonight. You guys need to be prepared to go tomorrow. And it was the most euphoric moment. We were crying, we were happy, we were getting ready to scurry around. I uh, prayed that over and over again during my years of infertility. And the main message of the psalm is that God is with you, that He knows you, that He knew you before you were born in your mother's womb. Who knew that it would be the womb of another woman that would be carrying my precious baby that I was praying over and over again. Izzy's birth mother did not know that she was pregnant. I feel like God really did hide her in her mother's womb for me and for my husband. It was wonderful, wonderful experience. Go to have, think about getting a book published was so outside of what my normal thinking would be. Again, I didn't know where to even start with that. I had the whole manuscript, first draft, done in about 45 minutes. I don't think of myself as a writer at all. That is not part of my history. It's just a whole new thing for me. And for the manuscript to come so quickly, I knew it was God-inspired. I sketched out a little busy Izzy based on this little precious in front of me. And I had the drawing sitting next to me on the couch. And Izzy came in, she had woken up, and she came and got on top of me and was uh, noticed the picture, and she said, that's me! And I knew that I was headed in the right direction and was so thrilled that she could recognize herself. Like, the, the book is, it is simple. It lets kids know that they're loved and they're safe and they're secure, no matter what's going on with their parents, no matter if they're in a, a situation that could be scary, if they're lost somewhere by themselves or if they're having the best day of their lives. And I want Izzy to know that from being little. I don't want her to have to ever go through those seasons where she feels like she's been abandoned by God. I want every child to know who God is. They can rely on this one thing. God is never, ever, ever leaving me and will always be with me. to reinvest all of the money and all of the proceeds that go towards any purchase of any of the books goes right back in to giving the books away. So now, every book that is sold will just go right back into buying more books that we can give out to kids that don't know the Lord or don't have a way of buying a book for themselves. We just want to spread the good news. 
astonished and giddy that I have a book, a published book, about my daughter and God, like my two favorite people. Awesome. What I found out is 